Let's talk golf balls and the extensive Titleist 2023 golf ball range. Just look at the selection here. General patterns when we start up at this end, AVX, Pro V1, Pro V1X coming down through Tour Soft and Tour Speed down to True Feel. We're going to see higher prices coming down in price as a general rule. Well, let's start down at True Feel. What do we get? So True Feel is now available in three different colors, red, yellow, and white as the yellows. So you've got your color options in True Feel. This is a great performing ball for distance, tightly saying. It's got decent performance around the green. Um, it's not going to have the same performance of these with spin and what have you with lofted clubs, but for the price point, you're gonna be getting a ball that is durable and it's gonna go decent distances while at the same time giving you some control into those green side shots. The other thing with True Feel is it does have this very soft feel off the face, which lots of golfers like. Moving up then into Velocity, four different colors, quite like in the blue ones there, not sure you'll ever find them, but they look fancy, green, Again, can you find a green ball, orange here? Uh, they're all matte finishes, so they're not shiny, matte finish, orange, and then the classic white. So you get your color options in the velocity, and obviously you get your standard normal white ball, which I think most people would be, that maybe the most popular. So players green side feel, but velocity is definitely marketed more as a, it's gonna go the distance golf ball, low spinning, in long irons, that idea is what they're saying, and strong off the tee. So again, if you're looking for a ball which is priced good and you're trying to get some velocity off the tee, this might be an option. And with the very many different colorways, you could certainly stand out from the crowd with those. Then moving into the Tour Soft and the Tour Speed. Both of these are now available in white and yellow golf balls. So Tor Soft is gonna feel softer, so very soft they call this, where they call the Tor Speed like just soft. This one is very, very soft. Short game spin with both of these balls, very similar. Long game play is gonna be very similar. Really, you've got almost the same golf ball here, but if you want soft, you're gonna to go Tor Soft, where if you want something that feels a little firmer, thinking that you're getting more speed, but you're gonna get very similar, you're gonna to go Tor Speed. And again, this is now a medium range ball, a bit more than these, bridging the gap before we go up to the top end, which does obviously get more expensive. The performance of these will get above these when it comes for that green side control and spin. The distance with actually all of these balls, you'll be shocked, off the tee, even though they say this one goes further, is so, so tight. What you're really paying for as we come up is you keep that distance, but then you're gaining spin. Great middle ball, great price in the tour, soft and speed. Then we move up to the heavyweights. This is Pro V1X and Pro V1. These balls are gonna perform very, very close and similar. And you're now talking about world-class performance, the performance that's used on tour continuously by most golfers and has done for years. So these are the kind of the balls that most people are edging towards subject to their budget. White and yellow available. Pro V1X is gonna have a slightly higher ball flight, marginal higher ball flight with full shots. Feel-wise, you're gonna be soft in Pro V1, Pro V1X, it's gonna have a firmer feel. Again, that's playing into what you prefer. Long game spin, so if you have long shots that are spinning too low, you might go for the higher spinning X in long game. This is more of a mid spin long game ball. And then when it comes to the short game, they're both high, like you're not gonna see a difference in the performance. You might just feel a difference between Pro V1 and Pro V1X in that softer to firmer feeling ball. They're super, super close. You're gonna to struggle to see the difference between those two. And again, you're getting tall, trusted, you know, world-class golf balls in the Pro V range. Then we get the left dash, Pro V1 left dash. I've seen these balls out on tour years ago, and that's where often these balls end up into consumers. The pros test them, and if enough of them use it and it helps them, they start bringing it out to the consumer. So this is a higher flight. It's a firmer feel and it's got low, long game spin. So it's gonna really penetrate and try and get you a little bit more distance if you're spinning those higher shots, those long shots a bit too much. And then when it comes to the short game, it really sits in this bracket with X and Pro V. It's gonna deliver that 
high performance ball just with that option of taking a bit of spin off on those long shots. And then up the top end as well, I mean, this is there all, this is all the top end to be fair. You could quite easily end with the Pro V1 and the left dash and whatever you and the X, but we've got AVX as well. So this ball is a slightly lower ball flight compared to say Pro V. The feel of it is very soft. Again, the long game spin on this ball is going to be low, but the green side is going to be very high spinning, giving you control. I don't know many people who use AVX. For me, I think this is where their sweet spot is, Pro V1X, Pro V1, and then left dash for anyone who's a little bit fussy with those kind of longer shots, feeling like they've got too much spin. What it is, is it's totally extensive, their ball range. There's a ball for everyone and different budgets. I think for your everyday golfer, this is a great place to start, maybe moving up to these if you want to. If you shell a lot of peas, if you lose a lot of golf balls, just get down here and enjoy your golf until you start having less lost golf balls. I wouldn't particularly advise spending loads more unless your budget allows you to because you will get the best performance out of Pro V1. They certainly got a lot of golf balls going into 2023.